So again, um, with the, when you do the esbit, I turn the alcohol stove upside down. Then lay the esbit tablet on top. Light it. Esbit sometimes is kind of hard to tell if it's lit, but it's definitely lit. And then, once it's lit, I put the top of the stove back on there. I set the cup on top of the stove. And then the lid on top of the cup. Now, if the GSI cup is entirely full, let's see if I can get this relatively straight. If the GSI cup is relatively full of water, which means about 22 to 24 ounces, I can't remember the size. I've got 16 ounces in there right now. But if it's relatively full, it usually takes two Esbit tablets. Or usually a tablet and a half, because I usually have about half one left over. The only bad thing about using the Esbit tablets with this setup is, the way that it is, you have to either, if you know you're going to need more than one tablet, you either have to put them both in there at the same time, or you have to remove the pot to put the second one on, or you have to remove the pot and the lower middle or the top of the stove to put it in there. So the window that's on the side really isn't large enough to put another Esbit tablet in there. And that's not really like a downside because the upper half of the stove, this area here, shields the Esbit tablet all the way around from wind, except for the little hope opening there that's just enough to allow air in so that the Esbit tablet burns. Um, that's the only trade-off really with this system. I've been using it now for about two years. And I just think it's the best of all three worlds. You've got biomass fire, you've got esbit, and then you have alcohol. So if you're like a diehard esbit user, this system would be great for you in case you ever run out of esbit tablets on the trail. If you're an alcohol user, this would be a great system for you. If you ever run out of alcohol on the trail, you could always use biomass instead of the esbit or the alcohol. Or if you're a biomass user, you have backups there. You could carry a couple of esbit tablets or a little bit of alcohol. Um, I think it's a great stove to use in like a survival or prepper situation. Um, it's super lightweight because it's made of titanium. And because it's made of titanium, it's also expensive compared to some other stoves that are on the market. So it's burned out, it never come to a full boil, which is usually the case with Esbit tablets. And this has about 16 and a half ounces of water in it. Didn't come to a full boil, but it's pretty close. So uh, 
I'll go ahead and raise the stove up and kind of see that it is actually steaming, but not a full rolling boil with one Esbit tablet. If I would have done another half of an Esbit tablet, it would have been a full rolling boil. Um, if I would have filled the cup all the way up, which would be 20 ounces, it would, uh, it would definitely require the tablet and a half or two tablets to bring it to an almost boil or a full boil.